Good evening and welcome to another episode of City Wrap Ramadan. As you may know by now, I'm Ilham Al Hamadi, your host for the month. As we've been showing you all this week, Ramadan is the time that the Muslim community really gets together to help those in need. We're just about to take a short break, but stay with us. Coming up, we'll show you what the Dubai Outlet Mall is doing to give back this Ramadan. Plus, we'll take you on another tour across the globe with our next installment of Ramadan Around the World. You're watching City Wrap Ramadan. Welcome back to City Wrap Ramadan. Now, early in tonight's program, we showed you how one of Dubai's community kitchens works to provide meals for the poor. But that's far from the only charity taking place this year. Donation boxes have sprung up across the country in a bid to collect and distribute goods to the needy. Joining us now in studio to tell us more about the Dubai Outlet Mall's efforts to lend a helping hand is Mariam Ensan. Mariam, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. So tell us, what is your charity campaign this year? Well, uh, with the help of UAE Red Crescent and uh, with our ongoing uh, support of the society, we are organizing another charity campaign this Ramadan, uh, basically starting from the first day of Ramadan until the end of uh, Eid al-Fitr holidays. Uh, people can bring in their donations to support our um, charity campaign. We're almost at the end of the first week of Ramadan. Um, how's the response been so far? Well, it's been great. Uh, you know, for the first two weeks of Ramadan, uh, basically it's a bit slower, but uh, towards the third week and the Eid holidays, it will pick up really good. But so far we had great response from the shoppers and retailers in the mall as well. They also uh, announced their uh, interest to participate in the campaign. Tell us a little bit more about the campaign. What are sort of items that you guys, uh, that, that people can donate? How can they be more involved? Okay, basically we are asking uh, people, the public, to bring in uh, wearable clothes, clean clothes, uh, shoes that are still uh, usable, uh, books, uh, especially school books, um, stationeries, uh, small laptops that are usable, uh, mobile phones and toys are very good uh, because we are um, going towards the uh, back to school season. It helps a lot. Then um, food, uh, we are asking for dry and non-perishable food uh, like rice, sugar, salt, uh, dried foods, nuts. Uh, they are a really good uh, source of uh, food can be donated. Uh, medicine and personal hygiene uh, products like um, soap, napkins, uh, washing liquids, detergents, they are very welcome. Um, we also ask for blankets, tents, uh, sleeping bags, and all those things to help uh, people get through the cold month of winter. Yeah. And um, cash donations are always welcome. And uh, anyway, the complete list of donations are available on our website or the Facebook page of Dubai Outlet Mall for Pretty people. Pretty much to everything you can think of. That's, that's, that's lovely. We almost have such things to give away. Where do these items go? Um, as I mentioned, we are working closely. We associate with uh, UAE Red Crescent. Uh, they have the uh, very big uh, database of the people who really need, be it in the uh, disastrous time or war time, which is the urgent need help, or uh, through their regular help to the community and the uh, less fortunate members of the society. So uh, we uh, give all the donations to UAE Red Crescent on regular basis, on weekly basis, basically. And uh, they do the distribution to, uh, to those people who, re who are really in need. And what led you guys to um, host this charity program? Well, um, you know, Dubai Outlet Mall, we always try to have initiatives that are giving back to the society. And this really forms an important focus towards our, uh, you know, ideology. We are known as the ultimate value shopping destination. So we try to focus on this, on all our initiative and provide value to the customers. So this is another thing that uh, we are doing to give back to the society, especially during the month of Ramadan. And the campaign has really become famous so far. How have the previous uh, drives been? Um, this is the fifth year we have this uh, campaign and we are working uh, every year with UAE Red Crescent because it's one of the biggest um, charitable organization in the country. So it's been great. We had really good response, overwhelming response from, the, uh, from people, visitors to the mall and also retailers as a company uh, itself. So um, the response was really good and now we are getting inquiries to uh, when your campaign starts and people are waiting actually for this uh, our Ramadan campaign charity starts to bring in their helps and just um, donate their goods. 
As we close, do you have any messages to give to the audience? Well, first of all, we wish everyone Ramadan Karim, and uh, we are asking them to bring in their donations, be it goods or um, cash donation, are all welcome. And um, you know, every every small donations goes really a uh, long way, and they can share their blessing. This is the month of uh, giving, so we are always um, asking for their help. It really is the month for giving. It is. Thank you so much for being with us, and all the very best. Thank you so campaign. much for having me. Thanks. Thank you. Now, would you like a few ideas of some things to do this Ramadan? Would you? Well, ask and you shall receive. Unfortunately, the curtain's closing on tonight's episode, but do join us tomorrow. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you again tomorrow. Ramadan Kareem.